Hi, this is Justin at All Wheel Drive Auto, and today we're working on a 1999 Subaru Legacy transmission. And uh, one of the more common things that we see is where the throw out bearing rides on the transmission is an area that's called the input shaft housing, snout, or quill. And what can happen over time is, is that the throw out bearing, due to age and lack of lubrication, can start to wear grooves into the, uh, into the housing right there where I'm showing you. And uh, there is a fix for it, so rather than having to replace the entire case, there's actually a sleeve kit that we can install. We're going to show you how to do that real quick. So the sleeve goes over, and there's two set screws. We do recommend installing a little bit of Loctite on the set screws. That helps prevent the set screws from walking back out later. Installing the second set screw. The next key piece is going to be lubrication. What we're going to want to do is lubricate both the new sleeve on that snout as well as right above it is the pivot point for the clutch fork. And what we're using is an anti seize compound with some copper. The copper really holds up well to heat and gives it a little bit of staying power. If you've ever heard a chirpy noise in a Subaru that went away just with the slightest amount of foot pressure on the clutch pedal, there's a pretty good chance that that clutch fork pivot point right there wasn't lubricated when the clutch was installed or just over time it's lost lubrication. The next step is going to be to install the clutch fork and the throw out bearing. And just kind of all pushes together and then you've got good smooth action we didn't have to replace the entire entire transmission case and this repair should be good to go for another 150 200,000 miles depending on easy how easy you are on your clutch this is uh, Justin at all-wheel drive auto helping you get more from your Subaru thanks